What's up everybody? Welcome back to Cigars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is going to be a cigar that has uh, been out for quite a while. Uh, I just have recently had the opportunity to try it and I'm reviewing it today and that is the uh, Charter Oak Maduro and that's a 6x60 cigar. Uh, it is a uh, Connecticut Broadleaf but it is a darker Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper and the binder and filler is Nicaraguan. As you can see too there is a little bit of a uh, uh, a cap over the end uh, where they cut it and they then they cover it. Uh, some of them are a little more less, some of them more as you can see here. Uh, it's a little bit less. Uh, but I wanted to share this cigar because it is a fairly popular cigar among uh, budget smokers. I say that because it's a de it's a really good cigar. We're going to go over it through the review of course. But for the price point between five fifty and $6.00 you really can't beat the price point for what kind of cigar is delivered through this. Now the Foundation Cigar Company uh, is the ones who created this cigar uh, but they do have a Connecticut out there. This is the Maduro. Uh, they have some other cigars out there of course with their lines uh, but I did want to review this. did want to say if you haven't tried it, it definitely as we go through the review you'll find uh, it has a lot of interesting profiles to it and it is a great smoke for the price point. But with that said, we'll go ahead and we'll get into the pre-draw right after this. All right, everybody, into the pre-draw of the Charter Oak Maduro 6x60. Initial off the pre-draw, get a semi-sweet chocolate profile, a little bit of earthiness behind that. Um, you get a little bit of a uh, really subtle excuse me, subtle pepper on the profile, but not so much that it's really noticeable. I mean, it's there, but it's not like blashed in the face, you'll feel the pepper. Even get a little bit of like a, a nutty cashew profile. But like I said, very decent price cigar. I know it's been around, uh, as far as I can see, it's been around since probably 2016, or it might even be earlier. Uh, but, you know, for the price point of less than $6, uh, ever since it came out, uh, it's a steal. So definitely, if you haven't had one, like I said, try one out, check it out, try to find one. If you like the Maduros, we have those. If you like Connecticut, they have those too. So let's go ahead and light this up and get into that first third. All right, everybody, into the first third of the Charter Oak by the Foundation Cigar Company. We are getting right off the bat that earthiness. The smoke is there, getting more of a pepper profile, more of a black pepper, almost a red pepper on the sides of the mouth. Just for a few seconds you notice it and then it's gone. Um, I'm getting more of a, uh, like I said, uh, a cashew profile, a little bit of a cedar profile. Now again, for those out there uh, they're going, holy crap, where do you get all these profiles? Now it's because I'm looking for certain profiles and unfortunately my luck has been, since I have tried a lot of the cigars, a lot of similar profiles for similar tobaccos from where they're from. Uh, a lot of Nicaraguans have similar profiles, Hondurans have similar profiles, Dominicans have similar uh, profiles. Like I said, depending on where they're from, you know, you're going to notice that those uh, certain, for example, pepper, black pepper, red pepper, a slight white pepper, you're going to notice that in Nicaraguan tobaccos. It's just something because of where it's grown, that's what you notice sometimes first. But as you uh, train your palate, you're going to find out uh, there's more out there uh, than what you're normally used to, just a basic cigar. Uh, but don't necessarily do you have to look for all those profiles to enjoy the cigar. Again, I'm just doing the reviews because I want you to find good cigars for good prices so you can enjoy them and then really understand that they're handmade cigars. They're not machine cigars and they're really uh, artisan type of product. So sometimes splurging a little bit, spending a little extra for that hand, for that, that dedicated time where cigars are made by hand, uh, it's it's pretty amazing. If you haven't watched, there's a lot of documentaries on YouTube. You can take a look for those. But there are a lot of hands go into making a cigar from the point that they prepare the field to they put the seed in, grow the tobacco, roll the tobacco, age the tobacco, box it, and sell it. You know, at least 100 people have touched it by the time you get it. So think about that. But with that said, we're going to keep going into our second third of the Charter Oak by the Foundation. 
All right, everybody, into the second third of our review of the Charter Oak Maduro. <clears throat> Starting to notice a little more of a uh, espresso. A little more from the in the first, right between the end of the first third and the second third, a little more, I was noticing a little bit of like a sweet, a sweet dried fruit. Um, not, it's just, it's not a lot of change. It's got some subtle hints here and there as we'll go through the rest of the cigar. But I do have to say, if you look at this, the burn line and the ash, it's phenomenal for what I consider a budget stick, you know. It just means that Foundation uh, paid attention when they were making this cigar. And as you will find out, if you smoke this or you have buddies that smoke uh, cigars and they've tried the Charter Oak, there's a lot of guys that prefer this cigar. Now, I know one of my regular budget go-to cigars is the Asylum Schizo, which I reviewed uh, maybe a year, year and a half ago. It's on my channel. You can find that review. But I'm going to put that up there. That was one of my favorite by Asylum. But this foundation charter oak, man, I'm telling you, those two cigars, myself, for those both being under five bucks, or I mean under six dollar price point, uh, for the burn and the experience from those those both of those Maduros, man, I gotta tell you, they're definitely great. But this charter oak, definitely something you need to try if you haven't had it. If you're not a Maduro smoker, like I said, there is a Connecticut. I have had that one. I haven't reviewed it yet, uh, but it is a lighter profile. A little bit easier in the morning if it's if you're a morning person you like drinking coffee and you like sitting outside and smoking or reading the paper whatever you're doing that might be more your thing uh, i'm a maduro guy i like maduros i don't care what time of day it is i don't care if i just got up or if i just are getting ready to go to bed i like maduros i like dark wrappers full flavored lots of strength but that's me like i said a lot of people might smoke this maduro and say it's a little too much for them but there like i said there are other uh charter oak varieties out there but with that said we'll keep puffing through this and i'll get into the final third of our review right after this all right everybody in the final third of our cigar the charter oak by the foundation cigar company we are getting the same profiles as earlier we're getting that earth that pepper that's the uh, sweet dried notes of fruit um it's coming back and forth on the pepper. It's not so bad in the final third, but man, it is an enjoyable smoke. And like I said, for less than six bucks, I picked mine up for five seventy-five. I've seen them as low as five fifty, as high as six twenty-five. Just all depends on where you get them. But all in all, man, it is a great cigar. I suggest you all try it. And if you like this review, give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, and hit that subscribe. And thanks again for tuning in the Scars and Whiskey. And as always, have a great day, have a great smoke, and I will see you next time.